Hey everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor. And today we got a new shave with you. I don't know if I've shown this one before, but we got some Sterling Bay Rum. I have a sample pack here I've been working through. Yeah, it's an interesting scent. Definitely smell the bay leaves, you know, because I use bay leaves in when I make stew and stuff. And you can definitely smell that. And there might be a slight rum smell to it. And I don't think there's cloves in this, but not bad. Not a bad scent. Um, the interesting thing is I do have a sample of uh, Crown and uh, Cane, Crane, uh, Port Royal Bay Rum soap. And that smells really good. That's like if I picked up, up the Crown and Crane uh, Bay Rum. I think I'd prefer that one, but this one's not bad. It works pretty good. Now, uh, we're going to do the uh, King C. Gillette with some Astro Blades today. This is like the fifth use of these. So I'm pushing it just to see how it works out. Normally, I only do like three, maybe four. I'm going to try five today. See how, you know, how far I can extend these things. Not that I really need to, but, you know, it's experiment. And I uh, already got the uh, parasol on and a little bit of wetness. And I already got my lathered up uh, in the shave bowl of destruction. There we go. All right, let's get this day going. It's uh, week coming up. Paint the face. And earlier, I gave myself a haircut. So if you have noticed that, it's like I cut my own hair. It's like there's not much up there anyway. So being in the military for umpteen thousand years, uh, I prefer not having much up there anyway. So there it is. All right. Go with the down stroke. Seems to be working good. I like this King C. Gillette razor. If this was my only one I was ever using, I'd be happy. It's a nice, mild, easy. It's not really overly aggressive. Just seems to get the job done. Combine it with some good slickness that I'm getting with this uh, sterling soap. One thing I do like about the sterling is that it is a really nice slick soap. Works good. <laughs> Yeah, kind of operating on about maybe two hours of sleep today. Didn't sleep at all last night. You know, back spasms hit. So I took some muscle relaxers. Normally those things will make you drowsy. They didn't work last night. The only thing about the cold weather that bothers me sometimes is that you get in there and the cold weather makes the uh, muscles kind of tighten up on me and that's a big problem. So you just have to live with it. I've been dealing with it since I've been like 17. I have... Uh, like bone spurs on my back when I broke my back. And so they, every once in a while, will pinch a nerve and it's like, that's miserable. I've had uh, my, like my lower back, they, 
did a chemical burn on my lower back to deaden some of the nerve endings back there that sort of helped a little bit but otherwise it's just something you live with let's go across the grain across the grain up here down here it's cross against and with all at the same time now you can hear that blade still working pretty good So hopefully tonight I will sleep better. Hopefully. I just tell myself, say, heck, heck with it. I'm tired, but don't have time to be tired. One thing the military taught me. Shit. Don't care how you feel, just keep driving on. And this one time we were doing two weeks of non-stop FTX and I ran myself ragged like after about the third day of not sleeping. My body said, heck, good night, you're gonna take a nap. It was like right in the middle of div giving a briefing like just sat down was like nighty night time body just said enough you're shutting down that's when you know you're tired no matter of stimulants will keep you awake because if your brain goes in emergency shutdown mode you're done Still slick. All right, let's go put another layer on here. But I uh, got another commission coming in soon. Somebody send me something that will keep me busy for a little while, hopefully. And I uh, I play board games, like military style board games. I got this one I got set up on my table. It's probably, well, it's a five by six table and it takes up over three quarters of the table. It's pretty huge. So, it's from uh, GMT Games. It's uh, Stalingrad 42 is the name of it. About the offensive. The Germans trying to get to the, um, through the Caucasus there, get to the oil, and heading towards Stalingrad. I've been setting it up. It's big. When you got a big game, and right now it's like being solo playing type of deal. So it's going to be a month of inter self entertainment, basically. Let's go against the grain. that uh, help my neighbor over the weekend buy himself a 65 inch flat screen TV 4k and I need help putting it up like, okay so we uh, threw it up 
on the wall. Got it all mounted. Oh, good. Looks really good. I got a 65 incher. I've had it for about five years. And he paid about half as much as what I paid for mine. It's like the prices of these uh, new uh, TVs. It's like, man, they're so cheap now. It's amazing. It's like I bought a, uh, had a 70 inch projection TV. That I bought in 2004 or somewhere in there and about the time you know when the Xbox first Xbox came out and I used to play Battlefield uh, 2 and I got that thing and I would uh, it's like hey I think that's a pixel dot moving and I would shoot that pixel dot and kill people and it's like how are you shoot me from clear across the map it's pretty easy. I don't have to lead you as much. <laughs> no. Because uh, I can see you moving out there. But having a super zoom. And if you're running with a sniper scope in the game. It's even zooming more. It's like unfair. That was fun though. And then it eventually... You know, I looked at the prices of, uh, after the third time a bulb went out, it was like a hundred bucks a time. Get a replacement bulb on them. They, uh, I was like, well, let's look at the new ones, those LED. Um, TVs. I went with that. I'd say number five is pushing it. Still knocking it down good. But I can tell it's losing its attic. Moisture on your face here. I think we got her. Ah, I forgot one important thing. What goes good with bay rum? So... Forgot to grab my aftershave. All right, let us figure out that. Probably we'll use. Hmm. Stetson. Yeah. Wouldn't think to like this stuff. This. Is not a burn per se. Stuff smells good though. Like it. Ah. Hmm. Good stuff. All right. That was Stetson.
Uh, the Stetson isn't really a, uh, uh, doesn't have a lot of alcohol in it, but it's really good for the, uh, the scent and coolness of it. But that was Sterling's Bay Rum with my King C. Gillette and Astro Blades. Good stuff. All right. Hope everybody enjoyed that. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. You guys have a good week. I'll see you later on, probably in the week. And we'll see you later.